Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist, and welcome to another video in our Photoshop Secrets series. And so these are just little five minute tips on how to uh, create some really cool things in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. Uh, what we want to do today is to create a planet. And uh, I, I really love doing space art. And uh, I want to show you a quick way how to make a planet, make it look really interesting. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to uh, make a circle. So just go and get your uh, elliptical selection tool, make you a nice little perfect circle right in the middle just like that. And we'll go ahead and fill it to one of these dark colors that are already in the scene like that. Okay, so there's our planet. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, make another circle underneath it. So just go ahead and do control click on this planet, make another layer underneath it. And now we're gonna add an atmosphere, which is gonna be kind of a light blue color like that. So now you see we have two circles. And then we're gonna change this to a Gaussian blur, kind of like that. And uh, it depends on how much atmosphere you want. I'm not gonna do very much. I'm gonna do about 50 or so pixels. I think that's fine. And then kind of lower uh, the opacity just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go to my original planet and let's do a outer glow. And same thing, I'm gonna do a nice little glow that's going out around it. It's gonna do the screen blend mode, which is gonna um, really amplify it with that other circle that we have going there. And uh, you can make it as bright or as, dim as you want it and whatever size you want. But I think try to be a little subtle with it. You don't want an atmosphere that's going uh, crazy out into uh, outer space. So something like that, I think looks okay. Now what we want to do is start adding a texture to the planet. So I've got uh, some textures here. These were taken off of uh, unsplash.com. Here's a concrete texture that we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and bring this in here. And it's a little bit bigger than our planet, so we want to make it uh, just a little bit smaller. Make it just so it fits over top of that planet. Control, Alt, and G will clip it to your planet, just like that. And then what we want to do is Control, click our circle. So now we have all these marching ants around this concrete texture, and then go to Filter, Distort, Spherize, and do 100% just like that. And so now we have more of a sphere, spherized uh, texture and we're gonna change that to soft light. And this is what we've got so far. Still looks a little weird, so we need to add another texture. Let's go ahead and add uh, this texture right here. This was taken from a drone, again, off of unsplash.com. And I think it's a really cool texture and uh, we're gonna use it. So go ahead and bring this in, clip it to your circle. And we're gonna want to Make it just a little bit bigger than the circle, just like that. I think that'll be fine. And you can squish it in if you want to. I think we'll do that. We'll go ahead and squish this in just a little bit. Uh, click your check mark and uh, go ahead and control click your circle and let's distort it as well and do a sphere rise. And now we have a spherical uh, little planet going on right here. So we're not done yet. This is a good start because um, I like these textures, but you can you know experiment with your own textures. Uh, but what I want to do before I move on, I want to uh, select all of these uh, water, uh, this little you know, these rivers that are going through this uh, texture. And so I'm going to get a magic wand tool, and I'm going to just select um, using the magic wand tool. I'm going to select these little rivers. So it's really this blue that's going through everywhere. I think something like that looks good. And uh, once I have these selected, I'm going to do Control C on my keyboard and Control V. And now I have a layer all on its own just of the rivers. And uh, we're going to leave that there for just a second. So just leave that there. Don't worry about it. We'll come back to it. Go back to this texture, change it to uh, soft lights or overlay. Which one looks better? I think overlay could work out pretty well. I think that looks fine. And then make another layer on top of this one. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint some of these dark space colors uh, over top of the planet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these dark colors that are already in the scene and just kind of paint some shadows on the back right of this planet. Just like that. So we don't want it to completely get rid of that texture, but we do want to make it nice and dark, just like that. 
very dark on the right side and not as dark on the left side. Then do another one on top of that and we're gonna change this one to white and we're gonna change this blend mode to overlay and I'm just gonna paint a little bit on this left side and this is gonna be where the sun is hitting this planet or where the most light is hitting this planet. Just right here on the left side, make a little arc, kind of like a crescent moon shape here and uh, that's gonna be the bright part of the planet. All right, the last thing we're gonna do for this quick tutorial is make a new group, put a layer inside of that group, change your group blend mode to color dodge, and now let's bring our rivers back into that group, just like that, and uh, it's going off all over the place. Uh, so let's make sure we get our circle here and then make a layer mask so we don't have um, it going off into space. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to erase part of this color dodge uh, right here on the left side because I don't want all of those crazy uh, uh, illuminated rivers here on the left, on the right. So I'm just going to mask that out a little bit. Then I'll make another group, uh, another layer in this group, change it to screen. We're still in our color dodge here. And I'm just gonna very quickly just paint a little bit of uh, bright glows right on the edge of this planet like that. And you can actually, if you want to spend some more time, you know, take this these glows and just kind of follow the riverbeds and just kind of go off into the planet. Get some really cool effects doing that. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So just in a couple minutes, uh, we are able to create this planet. Uh, I would spend much more time trying to get all these details right, but that's kind of the technique I use. Make a circle uh, and then put some textures on it, spherize those, and then do some really cool uh, glowing effects uh, like rivers or uh, other highlights that you want to on the planet. Uh, guys, that's all I've got to, for today. And so I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and check back again tomorrow. We'll have a brand new video for some more five-minute Photoshop secrets. Thanks, guys.